So I want to briefly give everybody a little bit of insight as to the topics that we are going to be tapping into this Sunday, yes. dealing with the Project Fear. Project okay. Fear. So I'm going to go ahead and just read it from I'm going to go to the event right page and I'm going to read it so we can have a better understanding as to what we'll be dealing with. Right. And how this thing has kind of blown into proportion, blown up into proportion. Like, mm -hmm. join us on Sunday, the 28th at 8 p.m. We will also explore, explain, and extrapolate solutions from the PSYOPs fear based campaign underway during the Jason months. You know, this is a follow up to when in Rome. And we're going to just build on the fear based programming topics. Then um, they include, but are not limited to police immunity. Right. Right. So. The fact that we saw the police do what he did to Sandra, to Sonia Massey yes. and immediately the Democrats threw out the um, counter argument. Well, if Trump gets in office, then these officers that are getting away with murder already are mm -hmm. going to have immunity. So, you know, we can't have that go down. Right. Wow. Fear based programming. That's right. Fear based okay? programming. And what the police immunity leads to unchecked will be fascism. That would be the beginning. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just playing out, you know, mm -hmm. the road to dictatorship. Correct. Um, another fear based programming topic that was introduced in the month. Oh, all of these were rolled out in July, by the way, family. I just want to yes. highlight that these were not in the mainstream narrative. This was not in the media. This was not a part of the programming in june right. this all came about in july huh. presidential immunity right the supreme court did something unprecedented in the month of july and it granted presidential immunity to donald trump Absolutely. to basically insulate him for his uh cases that he already was fighting and yes. anything coming up in the future they basically was like yo you're going to be our emperor Right. Yeah, and you're you're king. Then. You're king. For it. No. Yes. And then kings become emperors. Emperors. Right. Uh what was my dude in, in Rome? Oh yeah. Julius. Julius Caesar. Yeah, he was getting he was getting power hungry. Mm-hmm. Project twenty well, presidential immunity, that's also fascism. Yes, it is. That's, yeah, that's 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 the that's the way to uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a slope that none of us would want to go down. No nope. project 2025, right? Uh, Taraji Henson, the night that we were doing when in Rome lecture with mm -hmm. our good sister Vicky Dillard, Taraji was on a BET Awards she and was. she publicly said, Go and Google project 2025. Yep. And she said it in a fear based way type of uh, 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 instructions and whatnot. Her eyes were bulging and she was like, Project 2025 is right. scary. So that was a fear base, right? I went yeah. and looked at the at the search trends. It skyrocketed that night. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's been a talking point in our community, right? Yeah. Ever since. And people are like, I don't I ain't into that. I'm talking about the 85ers. I'm talking right. about millions upon millions of melanated people, right? Right. They're right. tapped in. They're plugged into this paradigm now. Correct. A agenda 24, right? Well, Project 2025, 20, fascism, and then it's the introduction to Christian nationalism. Yes, it is. Something that this country has not necessarily seen. You read about it, you heard about it, and you were made aware of it when they were giving you these erroneous, uh, reconstructed stories about your history. Mm. Funny you say reconstructive. Yeah. Because yeah. that's uh, that's literally what Project Twenty Twenty Five is. It bro, it, it it is it is the reconstruction. It, it, it's bro, it's a reconquista. It, you got brother for real. Yeah. It, 
is it, it it's the rebirth of the confederacy buddy. of the confederacy right in the republic yeah. agenda 24 a, another one fascism authoritarianism and trumpism right then we have the pro-zionism imperialism the gaza war the illegal settlements apartheid colonialism yes and then you got the supreme court a republican far-right stronghold that last the, the, again again people they're playing the long game this ain't four years and a hopeful hopeful, hopeful re-election they call those seats for life for life they stack in the whole deck right for life. they put right. in people it's like buying hotels on monopoly they make a right. move for the future <laughs> right women's reproductive rights mm -hmm. i would say the cornerstone or the linchpin of what this whole thing is going to boil down to the mm. right to abort mm. and women's reproductive rights and they're going to throw in the uh transitional rights of the um lbgt oh, you know yeah. they're gonna hard they're gonna they're going to uh you know they're gonna jumble it they're yes. gonna give it a bundle now but, but keep in mind to the viewers yeah we see women's rights reproductive rights and lgbtq rights we see that but come on let's not forget both of those in special interest groups got where they got sociopolitically off the backs of the civil rights movement facts gotta super remember facts. that super facts you and know. you think the right doesn't know that so you're seeing women's rights and LGBTQ in front of you, but right behind it, what they're really aiming at, all right. Oh, for sure. It's a dismantling. Yes. Culture yeah. war. Culture war, right? Far right extremism, a war on liberals, LBGT, and woke cultural norms. Right. They tie to y'all. Working. <laughs> In the restaurant. Right. Right. They're tired of listening to the baby on elevated music. Right. They tired right. of sharing spaces with y'all, bro. They just right. tired. You think that they cool with all of that? Yeah, they, they tired, tired of y'all coming through with that cowboy shit. They don't they don't want none of that, bro. Nah. Exactly. <laughs> they tired of um of of the uh the, the dudes this wild sassy at, at the uh <laughs> They tired of the sassy ensemble twerking at the beginning. <laughs> he said the sassy ensemble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dudes get mad, loose, and, and comfortable around around Nordic. He said they tired of the zest brigade. They tired of the zest fest. The, 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 the zest fest is taking place in Atlanta. Right, right. They tired of that. So, right. culture war. They they like you know what? They on their Andrew Tate shit. They be like, yo, I, I want to get on my, you know. It's really weird with them because they're the zesty ones. They are the fluids. You right. know, they they're fighting themselves, really. They're, like, they're fighting themselves. They're definitely fighting themselves. This cultural war sh could have been shadow work years ago. Mm. Like they could have just been. You know, they could have evolved if they did the shadow work, like the incels, right? And, and you know, all of the the you know the red pill men going their own way type groups. Yes. You know, um, they could have did more shadow work. Yes. But they are descending into misogyny. They are descending into this this uh you know, this Hulk Hogan shit, this Vince McMahon, this this grab him by the P U S S that yeah. type shit. They want to go with that. They want to go with that. Right. And they're looking at the liberation, the sexual liberation, or what they call the counterculture revolution. Mm -hmm. Like people are literally rocking with they uh with everything hanging out yes right and because they're about suppression and hiding and they didn't necessarily they're still conservative they're still in the closet that shit sets off alarms it's triggers and they would rather demonize it hide it and try to step on it but they're going to war with themselves that's a fact that that's you know. the biggest piece right there the, the issues that they're fighting about ultimately believe it or not and this might sound harsh they're really not our issues super facts this is a lot, most of this is inferiority complex going wow word is wrong straight like that That's this right. is this is fragility 
Yes. Mass deportation. Mm. Another fascism, xenophobia, anti-global Global agenda. agenda. Right? So you, you, you mass deporting people, but your global agenda is done. There is yep. no more welcome to my country type shit to America. Nope. There's no right. more margaritas the minute you get off the cruise, my genius. Like, yeah, there's no more yeah. bring your bring, bring your tired and your, bring your oh, tired. Yeah, y'all 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 rallying up the goddamn Ecuadorians. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. little, little, like, hands off the Dominicans, like y'all right. making it hot. Right, right, right. For the passport bros with all of this xenophobia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. It's supposed to be a cultural exchange taking place. You know what I'm saying? No tide and no poor. And you take our, you know what I'm saying, our horny and our poor in right. your little countries. Because they, right. they coming through. They come Economic through. woes, mm. bricks, inflation, bank failures, end of petrodollars, debt, yeah. recession. Woo. Yeah. De dollarization, bro. De dollarization. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. It's That's crazy. Right. That's yeah. Right. So people pockets done got hit with eight scud missiles. <laughs> you, you, you feel me? A hundred dollars can't survive. Uh, 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 you can't spend through a restaurant with a with a hundo. <laughs> You can't you can't go to the grocery once upon a time. Nah, you can't you spend a block. Nah, with yeah, you can't spend Walmart with a buck. Say it again. Sober. You can't yeah. spend Walmart with a hundred. Nah, it's over now. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> bank failures. You got banks just dissolving. Yeah. You know, um, uh. it's being held. This thing, this bubble is going to pop. It's being, it's, it's inflated. It's hot yes. air in here, y'all. Promise yes. you, war. War yes. with Russia, China, North Korea, Iran. Civil war. Far yep. right. Christian extremists, militias, J six, pro Trumpers, social unrest. That's not just the uh, that. That's just me scratching the surface of fear. Uh, not Project Twenty Twenty Five, Project Fear, because ultimately, what Project Twenty Twenty Five, when you read it or when you dive into it, is not going to make you feel enthusiastic and encouraged and whatnot. It's not going to make you feel courageous. It's not going to make you feel all American. It is supposed to elicit fear, false expectations appearing real. You don't know what the future holds. So why would you play a part of that paradigm? Why would you allow them to put you in a psyops? You got it, bro. You got it. You got it. Fear. Got it. You got it. That's so you're fact. creating this reality for them by participating right. in it and, and not knowing that you are that. fucking game that you are most in the they, middle. They, they, they need, need you. your participation. They need your participation. And boy, oh boy, did they get it when they <laughs> rolled out all of this theater in the month of July? Yes. The alleged assassination attempt. Right. Then the Kamalification of Kamala. Then you got a president who got an 80 year old face with 40 year old hands. Right. Come on now. Right. Don't black some bro. What's going on, mate? Like, <laughs> who's driving this one? Who's driving this bus? This yellow Ooh. bus right here is going off the rails. It's going off the rails. So, 